Perhaps the most challenging concept new physics students struggle with is how an orbit works. Although we all know that the moon is held in orbit around the Earth by gravity and is very far away, sometimes people have the misconception that orbiting satellites are in zero gravity or weightless. In fact, gravity is only slightly weaker at the altitude of near-Earth orbit than it is at the surface. Let's see what would happen to a rocket launched at an altitude of a few thousand kilometers with a speed of six kilometers per second. The Earth's gravity pulls it down, and like a thrown ball, it hits the ground. Let's speed it up a bit. With a launch speed of seven kilometers per second, it makes it a bit further around the Earth before hitting the ground. Watch the velocity and acceleration dials. These tell us which direction the spaceship is traveling and in which direction it is accelerating. The acceleration is due to gravity from the Earth, and it represents the change in the velocity. Isaac Newton himself drew a sketch of a projectile fired from a cannon from a high mountain, and how with greater and greater launch speeds, the projectile would eventually go into orbit. Let's check it out. At a critical speed, the object makes it into orbit. What's happening here? We've chosen totally arbitrary x and y coordinates to describe the motion of the rocket. The x-coordinate runs horizontally across your screen. The y-coordinate runs vertically. At this point, the vertical velocity is high and negative towards the bottom of the screen, but the horizontal velocity is zero. The rocket is no longer traveling rightward and is about to begin traveling leftward. The acceleration is leftward, which means the horizontal velocity is about to go negative. Like a ball on a string that you are twirling around, the rocket is always pulled inward, towards the center of the Earth. If it starts out on one side of the Earth, it'll end up on the other side. It just has enough speed tangent to its orbit to keep it from hitting the Earth's surface. The magic speed for this on Earth is 7.7 .7 kilometers per second. What happens if we get into orbit with a higher speed? Now we get what's known as an elliptical orbit. The velocity changes in more complicated ways. But there is one way we can analyze it that bears a lot of fruit. Whenever the spacecraft is on the right side of the Earth, gravity is pulling it left. The horizontal acceleration is negative, and the horizontal velocity will be either slowing down, if moving rightward, or speeding up if moving leftward. Whenever the spacecraft is on the left side of the Earth, gravity is pulling it right. The horizontal acceleration is positive, and the horizontal velocity will either be speeding up if moving rightward, or slowing down if moving leftward. The same types of principles hold in the vertical direction as well. Gravity is required to keep the rocket in orbit, the rocket can be thought of as constantly falling, but constantly missing the Earth's surface. For this reason, free fall is perhaps a better way to describe orbit than zero g. The reason the occupants in the rocket might seem to be floating is not that there is no gravity, but that they are falling just like the rocket. So watch carefully the horizontal and vertical velocities and accelerations at each point in orbit and see if you can make sense of them. If you can, you are on your way to a deep understanding of the phenomenon of orbit.